start the Legends of Poker final table. I'm here with Merch Dog. Mike is from Live Updates. I'm sure you guys all know him. Yes. So they should know me. <laughs> they should. I mean, if not, <laughs> hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Introduce yourself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the final six players we have before they get started. Action's going to start in about 20 minutes. Yep. So uh, we're going to help you guys get to know everybody. So let's start with seat one. Who do we have? Seat one, we have Aaron Kweskin. Aaron Kweskin. Yeah. All um, in AK yeah. on Twitter. He is our chip leader. Yeah, he's going to, he's coming in. This will be his, he's already scored his largest career cash, no matter where he finishes at on this final table. So um, it's going to be a big day for him. Um, his, you know, he's coming in with total live earnings of just over $180,000. And I mean, he's, He's matching that basically. He's getting ninety-one thousand at least for the payout in sixth yeah. place. Uh, his previous largest cash was forty-eight thousand. Plays a lot of uh, local buy-in tournaments here in LA. Uh, this is a bigger buy-in for him. What else he's got? He's got uh, seven point six million in chips, ninety-six yeah. big lines. He's um. I mean, he he wasn't. He was active on the final table. You know, just whenever I was up there covering hands, mm -hmm. he was active on the final table, but. Uh, did not actively take anybody out, but he definitely was putting his chips to play. So he's not one of those that's going to sit there with chips and let everybody else do the work. He's going to do some work, um, much mm -hmm. like the guy to his left, which we'll get to in a minute. He definitely will yes. put his chips to work. <laughs> yes. And the guy on his left is Freddie Deeb. He Every, is a... Everybody should know Freddie Deeb. Everyone should know Freddie <laughs> Deeb. He is a uh, Champions Club member, and he is going for his... Well, two-time champion club member yep. here at WPT. He's going for his third title uh, to tie Gus Hansen, Carlos Mortensen, and Anthony Zeno yep. with most championships. Yep. Third so, title uh, in six. This is his sixth career WPT final table. Yes. he uh, He's won the WPT Ultimate Poker Classic in uh, Palm Beach and the 2009 Celebrity Invitational uh, here in L.A. at the LAPC. Yeah. And uh, Freddie's Freddie's been active on the table. We'll say that. Um he, he doubled a couple of the short stacks when we got down to seven or uh, got down to eight handed. He doubled a couple of short stacks, and he was the one that sent home the um, I would say the younger crowd's favorite, uh, Bill Fagerbaki. Yes. Uh, people would the younger crowd would know him as Patrick Starr. You, you the really him. younger crowd. Yeah, you talked <laughs> to him um, a couple of days ago. And, yes. Um, he did his Patrick voice yes, for me. He did so, and the older he crowd awesome. would know him as Dauber from Coach. Yep. But a uh, really good guy, and um, you know, people were excited to see him go because we were—I think we were hoping that he would play the whole final table using the voice of Patrick. Obviously, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I mean, I think that would have been a great experience. But oh um, my gosh. But no, he's—it um, he, was—it was good, good to see Bill make a deep run. But um, like I said, Freddie, uh, Freddie knocked him out in what was it ninth Nine, place, yeah. and that's where Freddie got most of his chips from. Um, and the hand was uh, just all in preflop, standard hand, kings yep. to, Freddy's kings to build yeah, it queens. Yeah, there was a back and forth, back and forth uh, betting. Yeah. And, um, and fi finally, I think Freddy had put out enough of a bet to put Bill all in. And um, Bill says, all right, Bill let's gamble. Bill, Bill knew he was behind. He, he felt that, you know, his hand wasn't good there. But he's like, let's gamble. It's hard to lay it down there. Even when you know you're behind, it's hard to lay it down. Yeah, but I mean, you're not really, you're not gambling at that point when yeah. you're that far behind. Yeah. That's, uh, but that's you know, he doesn't yeah. play. He's not a professional. He plays low buy-ins and just kind of setting foot into the poker world. And I guess you know that's where you learn. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you gotta you, you learn from your mistakes. That's the uh, you know you can't can't be right all the time. No. Uh, and he let, tell us about your nephew. He left a message for him. Yes, uh, my nephew's birthday was two days ago, and mm -hmm. um, I talked to Bill, and he happily called and left a voicemail on my brother's phone for my nephew to hear, uh, wishing him happy birthday. So it was um, it was really cool. So my uh, nephew absolutely loved it. Um, so it you know it said I was trying to win the Uncle of the Year award, basically is what what I was trying to yeah, do with I'm that sure one. Yeah, I'm sure you so, kind of nail it with that yeah, one. So it was pretty good. All right, uh, now Freddie's going to give our chip leader a little bit of trouble on his left. It's not yes. a, I'm sure he can't be too happy about that. But on Freddie's left is Stan Jablonski in seat three. 
He's uh, made quite a name for himself on the Heartland yeah. Poker Tour. I know a lot about Stan, um, just from whenever I worked with HPT. He, um, Stan has re reached the final table quite a few times with HPT. Yeah. Uh, he's got eight final table appearances with two second place finishes. And the most, second, recently. most recent one was just last week. Yeah, in Kansas um, City. So on um, not this past, not this money that just passed, but the money before last, he uh, finished up second place in Kansas yeah. City. So um, he's a he's a grinder in that mid stakes area, and he, he's played quite a few WPTs, but just never had a breakthrough. And this is um, this is a big his, one for him. A big yeah. one for him. And the the ironic story with that is the second ever event that I worked for HPT, mm -hmm. Stan took. It made the final table on, and um, he went out in sixth place on that one. HPTs were sixth place uh, or six handed at that time, and um, so this is the second event that I've ever worked for WPT. Ah. And he is on the final table again, so I know he's hoping for something better than sixth place. Yeah. Uh, but Stan's the type of person that um, he's going to be happy regardless. The cards fall when they fall, and he's you know he's not going to hold a grudge if he did. if he goes out in sixth place. He goes out in sixth place. He's going to be okay with it. I mean, he seems like he's ready to go. He's happy. Yeah. He's tweeting, you know. Hey, this is just fun. He's always <laughs> got a smile on his face, and um, he'll he'll keep the he'll he'll keep the table laughing a little bit. I just like the name Stan Jablonski. I feel like it's yeah. he should be one of the super fans from the SNL Bears yeah. skit. You know, I had a Stan I had a, Jablonski. I had a um, mistype or a typo one time whenever I was doing a hand on him, and um, I accidentally typed Stan. Stan Jablowski. Oh, no. so, um, it was, um, you know, That's hilarious. It, was, it was good. Stan, Stan had a good laugh about that one for sure. Um, oh, wow. But yeah, so he's coming in fifth in chips. You would have been a good bully in school. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Um, we, we had a good little laugh about it. So uh, Yeah, he's coming in fifth in chips. He's got 1.5 million, around 20 big blinds. Uh, we'll have to make a couple moves, you know, yep. depending on the cards. Uh, who do we have in seat four? Seat four, we have Mike Shariati. Uh, he's coming in, starting with in 65 chips. big lines, uh, right around five million. Second in chips, as Melissa said, um, another low stakes grinder, local low, low stakes grinder in the area. Um, so he's he's got yeah. a little bit of work to do too. Um, His big know. win, though, he had a big win earlier this year uh, at the WSOP Circuit event, uh, Mega Millions, back in March, for two hundred and seventy-five thousand. So. Yeah. Uh, now we'll see, I'm sure we can see him playing a lot more stuff. Yeah, he's... Um, Win that, come final table this, uh, second in chips. He eliminated seventh and eighth place for his stack. Yeah. Uh, Spike Lee, he eliminated in eighth place with uh, his sevens versus Spike's fives. And, or I'm sorry, yeah, eighth. And then Michael Wang in seventh. Aces the versus bubble. Jackson. Both of those hands are pretty standard. All in free flop, nothing, you know, and yeah. let, the, let the board play out how the board plays out. That's the way it went. Not a lot you can do in those situations. Nope. Uh, C5. We have Craig Chait. Chait. Uh, that's what we're we going to go think, with is Chait. Um, if think, it's wrong, we apologize. We apologize. <laughs> I mean, that's all we can do. Um, I'm yeah. horrible with names, so I, we'll say And Craig, I just blame everything on my yeah. accent. So. That's, I always say I'm from the South, so, you know, yeah. if, it's, if it's not... Betty Ann or Billy Joe or something. No, <laughs> I, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> uh, he's in C5. He's our short stack. He's got a million in chips. He's been our short stack since we got, since we've been maybe in the last 15 players. He's been yeah. just right in the short stack. Um, he did um, get a double up through Freddie when we got down to 10 handed. And then um, the big hand that he had, um, not even really big in, the, in terms of chips, but it was just big in. It would have been his tournament life. He, um, him, and Stan Jablonski got into a little race war pre-flop, and mm -hmm. um, Stan had opened from early position. Craig came in, put in a, a three bet, and um, Stan four bet shoves on him. And Craig sits there and thinks for a few minutes, um, goes to tank for maybe five minutes, three to five minutes wow. or so, and folds ace king face up. Wow! And Stan showed him kings. So. Yeah. Um, he would have been That's drawing for one of those three aces, yeah. and you know, we all joke that ace always comes, but it's, you know, there's not, it's, it's, it doesn't it, always it's, come. The odds are against him on getting that ace, so he could have easily have been sitting in the crowd today watching this final table. But he's here today, and you know, starting the short stack. He's got a lot of work to do, but we'll see how it goes.
Yeah, and that's the discipline that you see as a good professional. Yep. Our last player, Brent Roberts, he is a familiar face. He's in the sixth seat with 3.5 million, about 45 big lines. Uh, and he has about 1.3 million in career earnings. He's a regular pro uh, on the tours. And he, um, he came in with, he, he got us a double elimination since mm -hmm. we've been 10-handed. Uh, he knocked out both Griffin Paul and Alexandru Masik. Uh, this all pre-flop action again. Um, aces versus eights versus Griffin Paul's ace four. And uh, Brent had the eights. And yeah. um, he got it straight on the river. Flop came out jack 10, nine, five on the turn and a queen on the river to knock both of those players out. And got us down to... Um, well, that was, was 12th and 13th place. That was 12th place, and 13th yeah. place. So, yeah, got us down to 11 players. And, you know, shortly gave thereafter. Nice yeah, yeah, gave him a really nice boost. Uh, he jumped up to 130 big blinds at that point. So, um, you know, he's... He's got it in, in him, and you know he's see how he plays out. Yeah, yeah, he'll be another tough player. Um, it's gonna be a good final table. I Should think. be a great final table. Um, you know, Freddie will be there. And you know, Freddie's always gonna be himself, and yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna be entertaining. He's on the gonna last be entertaining, play. and um, you know, might get under the skin of some players. Yeah, you know, Freddie can do that sometimes, but it's um, it's all part of his game. And you're gonna have Stan sit directly to his left, who's very jovial. Uh -huh. So that's gonna be um, that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. You know, those two going back and forth, and um, but uh, it's gonna be a really interesting final table. I'm looking forward to, to watching it and um, my first t televised event for WPT myself. So um, okay. on this new set, so it's pretty. The cool. new set's super cool, right? The new set is beautiful, so it's, um, it's gonna be yeah. pretty pretty fun to sit up there and catch the action and do some live recording. Oh, what was your first event for them? For WQT, I did the 500 over the summer. So oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you, I mean, it's it's a WQT. You did all event, the day one. So that's I why did I'm like, oh, all wait, ten why day I ones. With you at that event. <laughs> all ten day ones. Yeah. All ten day ones. Yeah. That's why. Groundhog Day. You were already like a pro by the time I got there for like I the was, last two. I was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. SD, what up? How are you doing? How was your stay in LA? How do you like LA? LA was, you know, it's it's LA. Uh, you know. Whenever we travel out, we don't get to get out too often. So um, last night we got lucky, finished up about 8:30, and mm -hmm. um, a couple, me and yeah. a couple of guys from the crew went out, and had some some beers, not too far away from the hotel. So um, you know, the previous times I've been to LA, I've had a couple done, a couple days to relax. I've had King's game, and I've uh, chilled out with you at the pool, and yeah. we had a good time. So uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Yeah. This is uh, Mike Merchdog. He is uh, our live updates reporter, so he kind of knows a lot about the players, and we're just informing everyone. I know uh, more about the hands and the players most of the time. He stands. <laughs> he's the one hovering above the yeah. tables I'm just, and I'm peeking over the, tables, the shoulders, yeah. counting chips, <laughs> yeah, writing yeah. hand updates, and keeping you guys informed, which he's going to do all day today. You guys yep. are hand for hand. Hand for hand. Uh, coverage. There's not a uh, live stream of a yes. televised final table, so um, it's, you're going to have to watch uh, WPT.com for all the live updates. And let's see, Club WPT is having $500 free rolls for 100 bucks. Oh yeah, try to win some cash. Probably going to be on later today playing uh, a couple of our clubbies who won their seats here, still here. Uh, they're going to be in the audience watching the final table, so going to grab them and hop on some club and twitch some playing right. probably a little later let them watch a couple hands and then i'll drag them out to play yeah <laughs> so they want to sit at the monster bar and have some fun which they definitely should give them some tv it's time. really cool to see a live final and table. they get a little bit of tv time yeah and they you know? will they which get, they really want yeah that's what the, i mean that's what everybody wants a little bit of tv time a little bit of face time except they'd rather be at the table yeah. rather than watching. i'd rather it. hide a little bit you know yeah. <laughs> He stays in the darkness, just yeah, on his, that's why behind I'm wearing, his laptop. That's why we're in the black, you know, the funniest event that I ever worked with. But the funniest event that I ever worked with, HBT, I sat between two cameras, and I was sitting essentially between the um, the one, the, the two seat and the three seat, and um, the cameras were shooting at me, and there's black drapes behind me. I'm wearing all black, and so all you see is a head floating. <laughs> <laughs> They're like... You've got to move. we got to find a better spot for you. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, it's, like I said, I try to hide. I'd rather yeah. be somewhere else. And, um, when he's not hiding, yeah. he is uh, creeping in the background of yeah. mine and Lynn's pictures. That, that would be it. 
Uh, the final table actually starts in about five minutes. Uh, last question, Club WT needs more graveyard attorneys. Uh, you can tweet at them uh, or email if you want. I can always mention it too. Um, I know that they watch the stream too, so they'll hear it. Yes. Uh, but they love taking feedback from players, so definitely mention it. But uh, I'll let you get to work because I know right. we're starting in five minutes. So yeah. Better get in there and... BJ will crack the whip. Yeah, and then he'll get mad at me for stealing him. Exactly. So. exactly. But thank you so much for helping thank out. You. And uh, you guys all check out WPT.com. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit with some club play.